I spent a ton of time this week organizing my craft room and um, getting my life back together basically. Um, so if you've been following along with my journey over on Instagram or on TikTok, you know that we have moved. So basically across the country and we moved into this really cool 1925 craftsman style home. And um, I say craftsman, I think it's a Cape Cod. I think it's a Cape Cod style home. Um, but we moved into this home and it's really, really old. The rooms are a little bit smaller and it just has so much character. But the studio that I've decided to make my studio, the room that I've decided to make my studio is a lot smaller than uh, the one that I had in our old home. So originally I was going to uh, try to set up in the basement, but I tried to spin some tumblers down there and... Um, they didn't set. It was too cool, too damp. Um, the basement is not finished at all. So uh, it just it just wasn't going to work out. So I did. I brought all my stuff inside and um, I'm in this room. So one of the ways that I was able to make this work was that I was going to have to invest in storage and getting myself organized and get everything up onto the wall. So my glitter, instead of having it in, you know, just... Um, one area it did need to take up more room because i don't have as much space um and right now i have as you can see behind me i do have my glitter shelves up however um i need to buy 36 more shelves um and so each one of these is three shelves and i bought them from timu i know you guys have mixed reviews about timu um personally i've had a wonderful experience with them and these shelves were absolutely fantastic and i'm gonna do a fun time lapse so you guys can see how i got the film off of them and put them up on the wall so let's go ahead and do that and then after that i will show you guys a little tour of my craft room so you guys can see how i've organized it so this is just a time lapse of me taking the film off of these clear acrylic shelves that I bought from Timu. Each one of these shelves is about 13 inches long and I was worried about how they were going to arrive because if you've purchased anything from Timu, you know that everything comes in a bag and it's not always boxed. So sometimes things get smushed or cracked or things like that. Um, However, all of these, all three boxes arrived in perfect condition um, and I was pleasantly surprised to see that these shelves did have this clear film on them. Um, first, I tried to peel it off with my nails and um, it was just on there too tight. So I did end up grabbing a weeding tool to peel the film off and it worked absolutely perfectly. Then when it came to actually hanging these shelves, oh my goodness, <laughs> I am not a professional at hanging anything. It is always, always, always crooked. And so I did ask how to hang these and my fiance said to put a piece of painter's tape on the back, put holes in it and then measure it out, uh, use it as a template on the wall and measure it out uh, using that piece of tape. However, that was confusing to me. So I did this in three different ways and I'm sure that there is some man wanting to mansplain it to me and how I could have done it differently. But hey, got the job done. Everything was even. Everything was straight. Everything was level. And <laughs> we got it done, guys. Um, but I do want to shout out these shelves. Um, I know Timu didn't make them, but that's where I bought them from. And um, I highly recommend them. They all arrived uh, with no cracks. The film was on all of them and um, they hung beautifully. So um, the fact that I could buy them at such a discount, I, I highly recommend them. They're about 13 inches long each and they, they hold my glitter really well. None of them sag when the glitter is actually on them, which is exactly what I was looking for. So they're very, very sturdy. Definitely recommend. And now for the fun part. Um, this is me just organizing my glitter and this is not even half of my glitter right here. So um, I have a total of like 211 more glitters that you do not see here on my table that still need shelves. So I will be buying more shelves and filling one of the walls with them. Okay, so finally, I am done putting stuff on my walls. I'm done organizing my craft room for now. I have a few more pieces of this that... I want to get in here like the peel and stick for the ceiling. I'm going to have my sign right here, my little sparkle barn sign, um, and then getting frames for some of my stuff up there and putting up some shelves to like house the tumblers and the art that I'm really proud of that I've made over, over the years. So 
Um, here's a little tour of what things look like. It's a whole snapshot at first. Um, this is where I create my content, my light. I'm gonna have my box lights up here as well. And then my ceiling lights up here. These are not gonna be like this. This was just the easiest way we could get like a full coverage of lighting for right now. I had one light that I need to replace because it is blinking. Um, but after, gosh, three years of having these lights, you know, replacing a $15 light is not that bad. So these lights have been great. Um, but these will, once I get the wallpaper on the ceiling, they're going to go one, two, three, four, and across that way to give an even coverage of lighting all the way across the ceiling. Um, and then these are, these are my tables. I love these little, um, clamps right here. This is actually for wrapping paper. I will link those for you guys. One of the best purchases I've ever made. I've had them for like five years. Absolutely love them and they're a lifesaver. And they have little tape rolls right here. So if you use these for like gift wrapping during Christmas or anything like that, um, those are really, really great. And you can just snap your tape off of there and oh, love it. I just bought that on Timu. Hi, Jack. <laughs> I just bought this on Timu um, to test it out and loving this bottle so far. It's a continuous spray bottle. I've got my alcohol, uh, rubbing alcohol in there. Um, my tripod stand, I love this thing. I linked it in a previous video for you guys, but I'll also link it below. It's like really heavy duty with a weighted base and it's not crazy expensive. Um, the only thing is while I was moving, I did snap one of these. So I'm down one, but when you purchase it, um, you can get replacements for those. And so I'm going to have to get a replacement for it. Um, you guys love to talk about my chair. <laughs> it is a gaming chair, but it is absolutely destroyed from crafting. So um, this thing is, I'm actually going to be removing the arms off of it so I could push it in even further. Um, but I love this chair. And then this is my desk. This is where I get all of my work done. So my gaming computer, um, and then of course my Mac, which hooks up to my monitor as well. My Munbin thermal printer. I need to come up with a cute system for that because right now it is just not, not cute. Um, and then I have all of my, all of my fun little things over there. Um, let me go this way actually. So here's my supply closet. <laughs> Um, finally I have a printer stand. So I've always struggled with where to put my printer. So my sublimation printer, um, my photo printer, which is what I print all of my vinyl and stuff on my inkjet, uh, vinyl on that. I do have a phone clamp over there so that I can record myself in the studio if I want to. And then that's the printer that I use. That is a really cheap, basic printer that will print any like shipping, um, packing slips or anything like that, that I don't want to spend a ton of money on ink for, that that printer will cost more for ink. And then I have my scale. Love that thing. Um, it still turns on and I have not had it plugged in in over a year. <laughs> um, okay. And then just hanging on my things. There's my Cricut mats right there, hanging up there. Um, all of my supplies. I would love to pull my vinyl out of here. Um, I just don't know where I would put it. So I really don't use it and grab it every single day anymore. So it, it's totally fine in there. I would love to pull it out and use that for something else, but that's where it is right now. So if there's anything in there that you guys have questions about, let me know. I will link my shelving units right here, my printers as well. Um, these are all just from Michael. So I will link those below as well. You can snag them online sometimes with a discount. Okay. And then because we are in a super old house, um, my, my phone wants to focus on my hand. That crack has started to appear in the last month, um, but I think it was here before we moved in. So when the wallpaper goes up, it's just gonna hide that and there's nothing we can do about it. Um, so then I have my shelves. So these are the shelves on my Instagram that I was talking about during my live the other day that I bought from Timu. Um, I know people have mixed reviews about Timu, but these came in absolutely wonderful. Every single one of them was together. There were no cracks, no dents, no anything in any of them. They all came with a protective film on them. Um, and I bought three sets of 12 and I do need to buy three more sets. So in total, I will end up with, um, 72 of these clear acrylic shelves. So you can't even really see them under the bottles, which is really, really great. I love that. Um, I have my cube shelves under there. Those cube shelves, um, I believe I got those at, I did, I got those at Ikea um, several years ago in those bins down there from Ikea as well. Um, and then my Cricut machine, my little stand with my Enemo priming paints on it because I do live in a cold climate 
and um, I cannot spray paint during the winter. So I have my NMO priming paints and pigment pastes over there. My MH Turner right here. Absolutely love this thing if you're looking for something that is space saving, that is a staggered five cup turner. They can make them taller, they can make them wider, they can customize them however you want. They do have ones that go on the wall if you don't even want one to sit on a surface. Um, but this thing is awesome. I've had it for, gosh, a year and a half. Almost, yeah, a year and a half now. Um, I absolutely love it. Anytime I have an issue with it um, or something happens, I just contact them and they either replace a part absolutely immediately, um, like within a couple days, or um, they tell me how to fix it and they walk me through the whole step. I love, 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 love their customer service. Highly recommend. Under there is my Crafty Cow or Cupasaurus. Um, Crafty Cow purchased Cupasaurus, so they're one and the same as of like a year ago. Um, that's my Crafty Cow single turner that I will be having in all of my tutorial videos coming up. Um, all of my epoxy, my MH Turner magnetic covers that go over my turners when they're spinning. Uh, those are my dust covers. And then these are all the bags of glitter that um, still, still need a home. I think I have um, 211 glitters that still need to get on shelves. So this is going to be changing, but for now, um, I have my little supply cart over here and it's my cup press. And then I have these glitters right here. Um, and then just for space saving, I put all of my um, pigment powders in these drawers, which I absolutely love because they're clear and see-through. Um, I bought this set on Amazon and I love it. And that is it. So that's a little tour of my studio. I hope you guys enjoyed.